Early in the 21st century, there was a time of great sadness. The second plague was spreading throughout Eastern Europe, and there was only one medicine that could cure it. Commander Donnelly's on his way. With his precious cargo of Antarctic pollen, the only cure for the second plague. Let's hope he arrives safely. No sweat. I'd trust one of those B-58s with my life. Wouldn't you, Baron? Don't be foolish. Of course not. What? Why not? All these lights, all these bells and whistles, gadgets, nothing more. A pilot's faith must be in himself. This is what he must trust not gadgets. In my day, we flew like men. No instruments, not even a gas gauge. We flew by our minds, our hearts, and the seat of our pants. Pretty big instrument panel you got there, Baron. Ha! I remember my last dogfight. World War I, right here in the Alps. I was on a routine patrol. The Alps were very stormy. The controls fought me. I was flying by instinct. The map in my head guiding my triplane through the perilous Matterhorn Pass. When suddenly, a strange model plane came out of the clouds, firing at me. I tried evasive maneuvers. He kept firing. His plane was faster than mine. I could not outrun him. But I was still the Baron von Kronheis. Schweinhund! Reflexes of my instinctive pilot skills saved me from crashing into the mountain. I made it through the Matterhorn Pass, and I thought the other pilot was lost. But I was wrong. He came out of the clouds. Yeah, he was right behind me. His plane was too fast. There was nowhere to go. Ah, he got my wings. I went into a dive. And then suddenly... The blue beam hit me, and I was taken aboard this ship. Now, I am a commander in the Ring Raiders. But you see how it was my pilot's instincts, not instruments, that helped me in my battle. Yeah, but you would have crashed if the Air Carrier Justice, with all its sophisticated equipment, hadn't pulled you aboard. Cool your jets, you two. You're both right. I'm more interested in this opponent of yours, Baron. From your description, it sounds like Wraither. That's him! But who is this Wraitha? Member of the Skull Squadron. Very bad news. 
But what was he doing traveling back to 1914? Donnelly's B-58 is like approaching the Himalayas Earth, your vile dudeness. Excellent. Everything is working according to plan. And don't call me dude. <laughs> the lightning capacitor that Raper installed on the Matterhorn back in 1914 is fully charged. It has now been absorbing lightning bolts for over 100 years. Stoke juice to, uh, Scorch. Could you, like, feature blowing these bolts through the Zapmaster shot cannon? I blow these Ring Raiders out of the sky. Pow! Zap! Wham! Quiet! Save it for your next dogfight, Hubbub. Like, sorry, your grossness. I sent Reaper back in time to install that capacitor for one reason only. To capture that B-58 with its cargo of rare Antarctic pollen. Once I have it, they must pay my price for the Antarctic pollen, or the dreaded second plague will spread all over the world! <laughs> it's time to put my plan into action! Capacitor, fire! out of control. The lightning must have fused its circuits. What happened? How could lightning go up? The Skull Squadron, that's how. Hang on. We have a plane to catch. Now, all we have to do is intercept it, and the world will be at my mercy. Whoa, like bummer news, Scorch. The air carrier Justice is on its way there, and it's really cranking. Vector, he must be trying to get the pollen himself. We must delay him. Siren, hop off, take the controls. Use the red tractor beam to capture the B-58 as soon as it comes in range. Shooter, Raither, you're coming with me. Attack! Uh-oh, bad bogeys. They must be trying to delay us. Jetty, take the controls. Cub, Baron, let's scramble. Baron, while we take care of Scorch and his boys, see if you can find that place where Raider shot you down. Scorch is up to something, I know it. No worries, Commander Vector. Yeah, Ring Raider's coming in mighty stoked, your utter nastiness. Permission requested to zap them good. Permission granted. Let's go. You escaped me once before, Baron. You will not again. Let's play. Follow the leader, Rita. <gasps> Shooter, you idiot! You've got an incoming missile! Nothing will defeat my evil plan, Vector. Not even you. Don't count on it, Scorch. Blast! But you're too late, Vector. Siren, activate the beam. No! Ugh. Siren, increase power! Give it everything! <laughs> I'm going to win! The world will be at my mercy! Not yet, Scorch. No! Got it! The shock was too much! We must get him to sick bay immediately! Small. Vector has the Antarctic pollen. He thinks he has won. But he's about to find out he's mistaken. Shockingly mistaken. Activate the capacitor, now! Shh. 
So that's what Scorch is up to. Hurry. Seconds count. Ah! Oh no! My medical equipment's been shorted out. Ah! So are the ship's controls. We're going down! Ha-ha! <laughs> the air carrier justice is falling! My capacitor has shorted its circuits. Thus will fall all who dare to oppose the Skull Squadron. Scorch shorted the controls. What are we gonna do? Only one chance. The ring circuits are bioelectronic, like us. If the lightning didn't affect us, the ring circuits may still be active. Almost there. Got it! The command is in my hands! What? Vector saved his ship! Aim the capacitor! Hit it again! He's below sensor range, your loathsomeness! And we can't see him in the clouds! Drag, man, I know! Ah. Flame cannot outrun me, and you cannot hide forever. The Baron von Clodage does not run, Wraitha, and he does not hide. I was testing your skill. In these storm clouds, your instruments are useless, so do not mock my triplane. Justice to Baron! <sighs> Scorch hit us with lightning bolts, all instruments dead, weapons useless, flying by ring systems alone. Must stay low to avoid another Skull Squadron lightning blast. Must reach Blade Center. Vector, you can't fly all the way on the ring. Your nerves will be fried. Only way, Antarctic pollen on board, millions of lives at stake. When we emerge from the Alps, Scorch will try to use the lightning blast again. You must stop him! You can count on the Baron von Clodite! The air carrier justice is down there somewhere! Find it! I want that anarchic pollen! Hey, chill out, your Scorchness! The Alps end there. When they come out, we can zap them good. Are you sure there's enough charge left in the capacitor? Enough for one more awesome blast. We'll get them for sure. Excellent. When Vector comes out, he'll be in for the shock of his life. It's too far. You'll burn out your nervous system. Yes, there is. Jack out, Vector. I'll take it from here. The command is in my hand. Instruments. Your pilot's instincts must become your instruments. Have faith in yourself and fly this baby. It's all up to the Baron. Where are you, Baron? You 
cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, I will find you. I found you! Trap. Aim the capacitor, hubbub. We've got him now, you radness. <laughs> capacitor aim, dude. Don't call me fire. Ah! How about you, fool? You shorted out your own ship. And a boy, Baron, you did it. It's your fault. No way, dude. And don't call me, dude. Donnelly's okay. Thanks to you. Thanks to you guys, too. You got us and the Antarctic pollen here safely. Without any instruments, you saved millions of lives. Well, I guess we all learned that the Baron was right. When the chips are down, you have to have faith in yourself, not just your equipment. 
Where is the Baron anyway? Well, somebody had to fly the B-58 back. The Baron von Claudage flies again! Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.